Hello friends, welcome to a new video of Subhras Biology and today we are going for the second second unit of that sterilization chapter as we have already discussed this physical type of sterilization in the last class and in this class we are going for the chemical type of sterilization and uh, for your remember, for your recall, I am just uh, giving you a hint of sterilization. What is sterilization? Sterilization is a process by which any article, surface or medium is made free from all microorganisms. So this is called as the sterilization and uh, this sterilization is divided into two types physical sterilization and chemical sterilization. This physical st sterilization I have already discussed in the last class and in this class I am just going to discuss this chemical type of sterilization. As we are seeing this uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine. I have written this nine type of chemical type of sterilization here. So first we will read this alcohol. Just uh, alcohol it is a chemical agent which is used for sterilization of anything suppose first mainly mainly ethyl alcohol and isopropyl alcohol is frequently used for sterilization process so uh, this is mainly used for skin antiseptics because it is mainly bactericidal in nature means it only it only kills bacteria it is uh, it doesn't affect any spores fungus or virus it doesn't kill any type of virus or fungus etc but it kills rapidly bacteria so so this is uh, mainly used as skin antiseptics and uh, this may be used uh, concentration 60 to 70 percent of concentration in water you can also use for this process but for your extra information i am giving you just methyl alcohol this is also a type of uh, alcohol but methyl alcohol is used for uh, fungus means for treating any type of fungus materials this can uh, um, uh, methyl alcohol can be used so second is aldehydes First one is the alcohol, next is aldehyde. This aldehyde is that, means it is used for sterilization, but it is bactericidal, sporicidal, as well as fungicidal. Means it kills bacteria, spores, as well as fungus. So this is more uh, frequently used than alcohols. So this aldehyde are of three types. Formaldehyde, first one is used. Formaldehyde, you can see formaldehyde. Next is glutaraldehyde. And third one is the orthothalaldehyde or the OPA. So this three types of aldehyde is used for sterilization. So first this formaldehyde, you can see this formaldehyde. It is bactericidal, fungicidal as well as sporicidal. It's used. Means uh, this is used mainly used for preservation of tissue for histopathological study. And uh, first you can see this here use first preservation of tissue for histopathological study. And second is sterilizing bacterial vaccines. And third one is killing bacterial cultures. Main, uh, mainly 10% of formaldehyde is called as formalin. This formalin is used for preservation of tissue for histopathological study. And this glutaraldehyde, this glutaraldehyde is mainly effective for gram positive bacteria than gram negative bacteria it is more frequently used for gram positive bacteria so its use is it is sterilization it is used for sterilization of cytoscopes endoscopes as well as bronchoscopes so this is the main um, main this is the main thing for the uh, sterilization of cytoscope endoscope and bronchoscope mainly glutaraldehyde is used and the third is the orthothalaldehyde this, these are the three types of aldehydes used for the sterilization of any any surface or medium third one is the phenol this phenol, next we are going for the phenol. This phenol is bactericidal in nature. So it is mainly bactericidal in nature. It doesn't kill any spores or viruses or fungus. So phenol derivatives include cresol, chlorohexidine, chloroxylenol and hexachlorophen. This clear cresol, the lysol is the main example, best example. Lysol is a solution of cresol in soap. The soap which is uh, commercially available in the market, this lysol is a solution of this cresol in the soap. So uh, next, the, uh, it is mainly used for cleaning glasswares or cleaning floors. Um, this is used for, this Lysol is used for that. Cleaning glasswares and cleaning floors. And this is also bladder irritant also. This is bladder irritant. Next, we are going for the chlorohexidine. This chlorohexidine, the commercially available uh, sablon you are getting from the market. This uh, chlorohexidine, this sablon you are getting from the market or commercially available in the market that sablon. This sablon is a mixture of chlorohexidine and citrimide. This uh, chlorohexidine when it is mixed with citrimide it forms the uh, sablon. So this is uh, mainly used for treating wounds. So uh, this is the sablon or the example of chlorohexidine. And the third is the chlorozylenol. Chlorozylenol, this uh, detol you are getting from the market, this detol, it is an active ingredient of chlorozylenol. This is. 
This is mainly bactericidal in action. And the fourth is the hexachlorophane. Hexachlorophane, it is mainly treats, it mainly, it is against gram-positive bacteria than gram-negative bacteria. Mainly gram-positive bacteria, for example, staphylococcal infection. This hexachlorophane, it sterilizes, uh, uh, hexachlorophane is used for the sterilization of this staphylococcal infections. So, this is all about the phenol and its phenol derivatives. This mainly, three important chemical agents which is used for sterilization is this alcohol, aldehydes and phenols. And the other things are just, uh, it also is, but it is also used, but alcohol, aldehydes and phenols are main, important materials. And the fourth one uh, here is the oxidizing agents. This oxidizing agents, for example, hydrogen peroxide, paracetic acid, plasma sterilization, it is also used for the sterilization process. And this salts, this salts is also used for sterilization, halogens, halogens like chlorine, iodine, Mainly chlorine and iodine is used for the sterilization process. And next is the dyes. You can also use dyes for the sterilization of it or uh, making any surface or article medium free from all microorganisms. And fourth is the vapor phase disinfectants. This vapor phase disinfectants include formaldehyde gas, ethylene oxide, beta propion, lactan, or you can say it as BPL also. And the ninth or the poor last surface active agents. This surface active agents is also used for as, as a chemical sterilization process. So these are so these are all about the nine process or the nine varieties by which we can sterilize anything but through chemical process. So you must be getting confused. This physical type of sterilization, chemical type of sterilization, um, very complex. So in the next class or in the next session, I am just going to give you any a short format or short chat by which you can remember the which materials are used for sterilization in which process. I will give you a short chat so that you can easily remember which materials are used in which process. So I hope you will like this video. Then if you like this video, then uh, subscribe to my channel for new updates. And thank you.